Breaking news, the Princess of Wales, Catherine Middleton, has released a video message detailing that she has been diagnosed with cancer and is undergoing chemotherapy. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. This is shocking news coming in. We all suspected something was going on, and she was keeping something, and this was it. Let's watch the video. I have yet to actually watch it. I want to react with you, but here is the message from Catherine, the Princess of Wales. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time it has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. That's intense, man. That's intense. Uh, and it just bothers me, one, that they have to deal with this with the sake of their kids. And it just bothers me how this whole conspiracy theory has been going as I predicted, many people should feel ashamed of themselves. And I suspect sadly, some people are going to try to come and use this as some excuse. And how dare you, if you do, uh, this makes sense. This finally answers the questions. This proves she is well. This is now going to re be the reason why she needs past Easter and honestly, obviously, she gets as much time as she needs. This is not something any family ever wants to deal with. And this is a shock. Uh, and I, 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 exactly what I was realizing was starting to happen as I did my homework, looked deeper, was confused by some of these things. It all makes sense. They, this is what they were hiding. Something private that was none of our business that they needed to address as a family uh, that they are continuing to. And it's just sad that we had to sort of push this and kudos to the class and dignity of her as she gives this message, given everything that's going through, given all of the craziness that this family is now facing and people trying to steal her medical records and clearly people talking about bowel surgery and things that clearly weren't true. Uh, a lot of this now is going to look really bad. The previous reporting. And as we, as we suspected, a lot of people are going to feel really stupid, as they should. Look, it was one thing to question what something's up. Clearly something was up, but we needed to give her time. And I'm glad she's now said it at least. So now people hopefully can back off because this is this is this is a lot, man. This is sad. And for her to not only address all that, explain it all, but then make it about everybody else. It almost it got me emotional. It, cancer is such it's so scary, guys. It's so scary. 
and you have to be so strong and so many families and kids and so many fight for it every day and have to fight, continue to fight and worry. Is it going to come back? It affects, I'm sure it affected, it's affected my family. I'm sure it's affected so many of your friends and family. Uh, this is not something to take lightly. And I applaud her, her class, her dignity, just her strength to come forward and finally just sort of put this out there. And yeah, what more reports are coming in. This is obviously breaking news. Uh, she said in a video message release as we want the mate after the surgery, it wasn't cancerous. Now it is. It seems the type of cancer has not been disclosed. Chemotherapy started in late February. The announcement comes as her father-in-law also undergoes cancer treatment. Uh, cancer was not dis was discovered in post-operative tests after abdominal surgery in mid January. Uh, there's not much more here to say. She said it all. Again, type of surgery and type of cancer has not been announced, but the surgery was successful. Tests found cancer has been present. Medical team advised I should undergo a course of prevention, chemotherapy. I'm now in early stages of the treatment. Uh, it was at the time they said it was non-cancerous. The palace has provided little information on her condition since. And I expected, of course. How do you handle all this? Kate has been having her husband William at her side as a great source of comfort and reinsurance. No wonder he's been a little out of it. No wonder. This is this is terrifying. She will return to duties when she's cleared by her medical team. Even the news doesn't have much more to report on. There it is. Uh, my goodness. I, I'm, I'm shook, man. This is a lot to digest. I hope this finally gives people answers to back off and leave her alone. This is so scary. And I applaud her to no end to show that she was able to just put this out there like this. And honestly, as I suspected, my theory was right, guys. This only makes her look even more of a hero, even more classy. And everybody else out there that was trying to cause harm or throw a fair allegations or other weird private information about them all should be ashamed of themselves. What a disgusting way. And I'm sure everybody, they were keeping notes uh, as they should. This is a serious, serious uh, update in this uh, story. What do you guys think? I'm sure you're as shocked as I am. Uh, but there you have it. Message from Catherine, the Princess of Wales, diagnosed with cancer and currently undergoing chemotherapy. That is not going to be an easy journey at all. Uh, I send them so much love and positivity, and I'm sure you as well. Please, if you can, put it down in the comments. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so we can keep you updated on alerts regarding this and other breaking stories. Uh, and yes, tell us what your thoughts. I, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm just still shook by this. I wanted to react with you live. We will keep you privy as to more details that come in. In the meanwhile, all my love and positive support to, to, to Catherine and her family, the royal family. I'm sending them all the best.